PlayKey is a Russian-made pick-up-and-play cloud gaming service that allows you to play your whole catalog of games from various third-party distributors including Steam, Origin, and Epic Games. Is this the cloud gaming platform for you? Now let's get keyed in with the details of PlayKey. PlayKey headquarters might be in Russia, but they have servers in London, Amsterdam, Frankfurt, Moscow, and Dubai. They run a decentralized gaming server network, meaning their architecture distributes workloads among several machines instead of relying on a single central server. Their infrastructure consists of various crypto mining hardware configurations from miners willing to rent out their hardware for cloud gaming purposes. In turn, miners get PlayKey tokens, a cryptocurrency which operates in the Ethereum platform, and gamers get a slew of different gaming hardware profiles to run cloud games on. More on this in our PlayKey benchmark video. Now, PlayKey is a credit-based service in which you pay the amount of time you want to play for per hour. The amount of hours you can choose from starts from 1 hour to 100 hours to unlimited. Now, the unlimited plan is a monthly plan set at $49 a month. Now, the hourly plans have an expiration date of 2 months, so choose wisely. Now, if you need help getting started with the setup of PlayKey, feel free to watch our Getting Started video which will go into detail on this. Now what makes PlayKey unique on the gaming front is that they're not only a pick up and play type of platform where you have pre-installed games on demand, but they allow you to install any game you want from Steam, Origin, and the Epic Game Store. Now PlayKey.me, the one in the Middle East, has access to Battle.net games as well. Now be aware that you'll need a separate account to use PlayKey.me rather than PlayKey.net. Now the homepage of their website is also the dashboard to the games already installed on their platform. You can see that it looks a lot like the GeForce Now dashboard. Now to me, this is a good thing. It makes games simple to access. Now if you don't see what you want to play, either search it up or launch the app that distributes the game, install it on their system, and run it. Now please note that if you use one of the distributor apps, you're going to have to go through downloading the game, which might take a bit of time. This will eat into your paid game time. Your time starts the second they grant you access to one of their servers, as you can see in the corner. What's nice is that they allow you several hundred gigabytes of storage for your custom game downloads. This is saved under your account so you don't have to download them again. But this might depend on the game though. Now you don't actually play the games through the browser, unfortunately. They require you to download their Windows app. It's a small app which resides in your hidden icons menu if you ever want to close it. Now please note that this is the only way to play their games. They don't have a browser app, no Android app, no iOS app, nothing. And the only way to choose the games you want is to select it on the website first, which will open the desktop app. They need to add more device support soon because various device support is what cloud gaming is all about. Come on, get with the program, PlayKey. Now saying this, their app is easy to use. I don't know why it's not possible to get this working through a browser, but who am I? I initially had trouble with displaying my video, so you might need to play with the settings to get things to work. Now the app does support resolutions over 1080p, but games will only max out at 1080p resolution. Now since PlayKey has a pool of various types of hardware profiles, you'll get a new hardware profile every time you start a game. So performance could vary depending on what you get. But please note that we never got a profile that didn't run the game at a point where it was unplayable. Granted, it wasn't the best, but depending on the game, we usually got between 40 and 60 FPS. And to me, that's pretty acceptable. And everything was pretty smooth, no hiccups. Now we're located in the US and my server was located in Russia which gave us about 136 milliseconds of latency when playing on playkey.net. Now my server in Europe while playing on playkey.me gave us over 200 milliseconds of latency. Yes, this gave us some significant lag in games, especially first person shooters. Now it wasn't bad enough though to stop playing any of the games that we were playing on. So if you're in the US, I wouldn't recommend playing any competitive titles on playkey. Now if you're much closer to any of these servers, in Russia, or Europe, or even in the Middle East, response time should be much better. Their infrastructure is good enough where their video quality is solid. And as I said before, we experience little to no hiccups during gameplay. Now what I was shocked about is that their desktop app supports multiple controllers. We first tried a 2 player co-op game, then we tried a 4 player co-op game. We tried different types of controllers and we had no issues playing these multiplayer games. So if you have a large collection of multiplayer games, feel free to entertain company on the couch. Overall, PlayKey is a solid platform. 
It is definitely a contender to rival GeForce Now, especially with being able to install any game from third-party game distributors that they support. If you're in Europe, Russia, or Dubai, you should have a really good experience, granted that you have good internet. Hopefully, they'll add more high-end hardware to the pool so we can get some 4K gameplay. I'd also like to see some additional device support along with support in the US. It was on the roadmap, but the Russian conflict might have had something to do with that. We'll be looking forward to see what PlayKey has in store for cloud gamers in the near future. If you like this overview of the PlayKey cloud gaming platform, make sure to like the video and subscribe, and keep it keyed in right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.